Hey guys, it's Hetty, and today's video I thought I'd do something a bit different, and I thought I would do my essentials for art school because I've been to college and university now, and these are some of the things that I really recommend you get. I mean, these will work for any discipline in art, whether you're a digital artist or a traditional artist. Um, I just thought I'd cover the basics that you will need, or that I believe you'll need anyway and they came in handy for me so first thing I would say is get yourself a little planner and um, this is an academic diary so it goes from the end of July to July next year and it just covers your term time basically I don't know what the term time is over in other countries but here in England you start in September and you go to July in the next year and that's your full school year and this basically just covers all of that year so I mean this one I got pretty cheap and it's great if you can get one with a timetable in if you have different lectures that are the same day every week you can plan that in so you know what you're doing sort of thing um, I mean a lot of them nowadays come with note sections anyway but as long as you've got somewhere you can write down all of your your deadlines, stuff like that. This one has a forward planning section which I think is great because you can mark off the days which are your deadlines. Um, but yeah, that's definitely one thing. And then to go with that, I also recommend you get erasable pens, which I know people would have seen these a lot, but for writing in, say, your planner, it's very handy to be able to erase things because if you plan something one day and you end up doing it the next, you can just rub it out and put it on another day. Um, even if you want to use this just to plan out your day, like write your to-do list in, then it will come in handy for that. So the next would be a notebook. Um, you're going to have lectures and you're going to have to take notes. So and it's the boring side of doing any art courses or any courses anyway. Um, you can get cute ones like this. This was my all-time favourite at university, and I've scribbled over it, and it's well used but it's literally just a plain notebook inside and you can get yourself fancy little tabs or something like that to go in to just mark where your different courses are like your different lecture notes but you can colour code it if you really want but either way a notebook is a must that is definitely something I would say um, then Next, more of an organisational thing again, is post-it notes. Now these will come in handy for both your diary, in your notebook, and if you forget your notebook, if you've got post-it notes with you, even just one little set in your pencil case, that will you can just write quick little notes down and stick it in your notebook when you get home. Um, but these also come in handy to do doodles on as well, because there is nothing worse than sitting in the middle of a lecture and you have a really amazing idea for one of your final pieces for a different part of the course and you've got nothing to write it on apart from your notebook but you don't want to lose it in your notebook so you can write it on one of these or draw it and just stick this straight in your sketchbook and that's it, it's done um, then on to sketchbooks I would say now some courses are different but over here you don't need because we had different course like parts of the course so we do like three different projects at once sort of thing and some unis do prefer you to have separate sketchbooks for each but like my university and I know a lot of them are the same as long as you clarify which sections in your sketchbook are for which project then they're not really bothered whether you do it all in one or in separate ones and to make it easier on yourself, I'd say do it all in one and you could colour code sections if you want or something like that. It depends how much you use a sketchbook as well. But I would say get yourself a pocket size sketchbook, so this is just an A6 one, and whatever size you prefer working in, just to do your, your initial sketches, just some little basic designs. But you can have this one, if you're a lady or even a man, you can have it in your handbag and keep this with you at all times and then because you could be out on a weekend and you just have an idea for your project and you can just doodle it in there and it's there and I mean like I said you could colour code pages if you really wanted to or again get your little posh little like these little tabs you can get quirkier ones than that but or even your post-it notes 
and just stick a little tab in the top to colour code it. As long as you write a key if you're colour coding in the front, then there's no problem. But I would definitely recommend having a sketchbook to keep with you all the time and then your sketchbook for your actual project work. Um, for my first two years of university I had separate sketchbooks for each project and it just became a pain in the backside to be honest. Just keeping on track of which sketchbook was for which and make sure you're remembering the right one for that lecture that day or something like that or that project that day that you're getting assessed on. It just became a pain so in my final year I swapped over to just one sketchbook and a little travel size and it was such an improvement and surprisingly it was a lot easier to stay more organised and it's less to carry. There's, there's nothing worse than having to carry a crap ton of sketchbooks on your deadline day. But yes, next would be your pencil case. Um, you don't have to have a pencil case, you can just chuck it all in your bag if you really want, but I prefer a pencil case because you can just keep all your little bits in there. And one thing would be a at least have a memory stick, like a USB drive, that is I would recommend 16 gig or more which they're not expensive nowadays. I think this one is only an 8 but I have a lot of USBs. This isn't the one I use for uni, it's just an example but I'd, especially if you're a digital artist I'd recommend an external hard drive but for anyone else then an 8 gig would do but a 16 would probably cover everything for you. Um, eraser, well if you, you're an artist you know you need an eraser sometimes, it's just one of them things. Um, next, I would say get a white gel pen because it's a lot easier to carry a gel pen around than Tipex and if you want to scribble over something like you've done in your sketchbook, say you've done a line art and you've got one little mistake that you just want to clean up then you can just use a white gel pen for that and it looks a lot neater than Tipex as well or white out, whatever you want to call it. Um, now you could have a highlighter or a neon pen or whatever you've got but I just have these thick felt tips and it's just like say in your notebook you want to highlight specific notes then it's going to come in handy but these are a lot more useful I find than highlighters to carry around and they don't take up as much space in your pencil case and um, more erasable pens the next thing I would say is get a cheap set of coloured pencils and you don't want to have like your super nice posh ones I mean I've got Prisma colours but I would never take these to university anyway if it's just for sketchbook work and you're not doing a final piece then these are great for just doing quick sketches if you just want to break away from the pencil slightly and even if it's just doing some like little colour tests for your final piece. You don't have to use the medium that you're going to be using just to give you an idea of what colours to use. You can just quickly shade over it with some pencil crayon and you'd see what colour you want to use. So they come in handy quite a lot. And you could use these as highlighters if you really wanted as well. But, or if you're just bored that one day and you want to do a really colourful doodle then you've got colours. And I would recommend as well getting um, mechanical pencils. If you prefer standard pencils, like a graphite pencil that you have to sharpen, then fine, that's your choice, but just for ease of pen <laughs> not having to worry about pencil shavings and stuff like that, get mechanical pencils. If you, have, if you have a couple of them, you don't really have to worry about refilling them very often. I mean, you can get the refills, but you don't have to really worry about it much, because you'll have a couple in your pencil case anyway. And They've always got the eraser on the end, so just sticking one in your pocket is handy as well sometimes. And then, now this is, I wouldn't say this is an essential, but it's one I enjoy, especially for in your pencil case, for, to work in your sketchbook, and that's Sharpies. They will come in handy, you can use them as fine liners, or again, just to do some colour tests, or if you feel like doing a random doodle, I mean, some of you might even do all of your art in Sharpies but they come in handy for a lot of stuff. I mean, even if you've just got to quickly write your name on the front of your notebook, it's there, but yeah. And last but not least is just your favorite type of pen to use because you're going to need a pen to write all your boring notes. And if you get a 
well it doesn't have to be black but you get whatever colour you want that you could also use as a fine liner so you don't have to carry one of those around to do any sketchbook and biro works just fine for doing thumbnail sketches as well and you can do some really nice drawings in just biro but yeah I think that pretty much covers everything for the essentials that I believe you need for art school and I hope this helps some of you out whether you're going back into art school for another year or it's your first year but either way hopefully this helps you in some way um, even if you just wanted to see me ramble for ages but anyway thank you for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye